Hello everyone, today we are going to be talking about uh, gamification and um, motivation. So I'd like to begin with the Dutch historian and anthropologist um, Johan Fitzinger, who uh, stated that humans are um, homo lithians, which means the plain man, um, and suggests that play is an essential part to human culture. Um, studies have found that gamification or learning games aid within shaping the brain, resulting in a more efficient cerebrum. It's also a survival trait within itself as it helps people to learn to switch and improve their behaviours and reactions more efficiently, preparing them for um, non-game contexts. Um, games and learning as a whole also turns our brains to motivational engines when we are excited and engaged because of a sudden reward. Our brain releases dopamine which serves as a chemical agent, a neurological transmitter passing the signal of satisfaction around our neurons, giving that our games and learning triggers are pleasure centres and our brains want to relive the same experiences that gave us pleasure. Dopamine perhaps um, is one of the greatest motivators we have at our disposal within our human bodies. It's this process of tapping into our brain's motivational machinery that makes gamification techniques so effective. Um, motivational um, machinery within our brains can start with incentric motivation, which is a sub-concept to the self-determination theory of 1975, which was formulated by the theorist Edward and Richard, which states that to be intrinsically motivated, us humans must be propelled not on the grounds that we desire reward or punishment, but by means of finding enjoyment out of the task itself. In regards to games, for the most part, nobody pushes you to play or pushes you to um, learn something, nor are you going to get punished for not doing so. We play for enjoyment uh, or gratification of uh, oneself. Another good ex example is autonomy, which alludes to the decisions individuals make and why they make them. Um, completeness alludes to the ability to um, challenge properly. Uh, relatedness alludes to our association with support from others. It has to be done well, on terms of events and keeps us, you know, close within human interactions. This concept can be viewed by Albert Rodin, um, social learning theory, as he states that most human beings, um, you know, learn from behavior and observation or modeling from observing particular behaviors and those behaviors become a learning curve for others and so forth. So, um, so with regards to gamification, this theory um, prepares that individuals do learn from one another and that it can be a uh, sub-motivator within itself. Games are essentially motivating and enjoyable to the degree that players experience these psychological necessities while playing, not just individually, but um, within groups. I think overall we are uh, we can take three things away from this. I think we can take away that games does motivate and drive players, that games have the ability to broaden um, your mind and interests of players and users. I think games can aid us within connecting with um, abstract concepts and real-life environments and situations.